What You're Watching Wednesday. And I think kind of a special What You're Watching because often on the holidays, families get together and want to go, you know, watch something at home or go to a movie, that sort of thing. So I did some homework for you. Went ahead and <laughs> went to the theater and previewed the new Clifford movie that came out this year. Well. Don't we try to hide him or something? It's New York. No one will even notice. He's a, just a big... Whew. Why don't we get you on the scale here, bud? Oh. I'm just gonna write heavy. What if you found someone who made you feel like you could do anything? So cute. It's adorable. So I went to see this with my daughter and some of her classmates. Most of them are five, she's four. And sometimes when a movie's not 100% animated for that age, you wonder if they're gonna like it. Like they need full cartoon, but they all loved Clifford the Big Red Dog. Uh, the moms found it to be cute, have, ha, has enough of like the adult humor and fun to keep you excited. Well, that's a real balance to strike. It when, is. When, when, they, when they set out to make a movie and they say, we really need to make sure it appeals both to the adults and to the children, so we, they're not just bringing the kids, but they're also telling other adults, oh, go see this, it's good. Exactly. Now, th is this based on the comic strip? Yeah, it's like Cl it's Clifford the Big Red Dog. Because Clifford right. is more of sort of just a caricature, and this is like a real, they, they replicate a real dog, which I think is kind of a nice turn. It's amazing. Brighton kept saying, I think he's real. I think he's real. You know, not understanding the, the, the CG. graphics yeah, it's all technology. CG. But yeah. yeah, it was really fun. It was really cute, you know, age appropriate for kids, but also fun for the family. So I think this will be a good, like if you're going out on Thanksgiving Day or the day after, um, that's a great one to see. Yeah, and of course there's Hallmark with their 45 new Christmas holiday movies. Well, there's that too. Um, coming up. Uh, we're taking a turn for <laughs> this one. <laughs> we're <Not> family fun. <laughs> we're taking a turn for this one because it is a serious scripted series starring Michael Keaton, which takes a look at the opioid epidemic and specifically steps that were taken with Oxycontin to promote it, to sell it to doctors, and the fallout from it when people became addicted and in the worst case of scenarios, many people died. Take a look. We began looking at something that could be big. Oxycontin. Purdue Pharma, they've been marketing the drug as something that's not addictive, when it clearly is. All your doctors are going to be asking, how is this even possible? Your most effective talking point are these magic words. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. They told me that less than 1% would become addicted. We've known about this, and we've known about the lawsuit that stemmed from it, and the discovery of how this drug was uh, granted an exception from the FDA to be able to say it's less addictive than, than other narcotics in, in the same family. And you begin to question any number of things about the system at the time, from how pharmaceutical reps sell these drugs, to how the FDA approves them, and how these problems really sometimes in these small communities they don't have the resources to solve the problem mm -hmm. once people mm -hmm. are addicted. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like this was a, you know, when you see a show like this often there's a slant in one way, did you feel like it was sort of more investigative and like you kind of saw both sides or do you feel like it was it was one side pushing an agenda? No, I feel like Michael Keaton is the executive producer of this as well, he's a co-executive producer and when you watch his story as a doctor, you do feel almost, in a way, sympathetic that he wanted to do the right okay. thing, thought he was doing the right thing, and was taken advantage of. If anybody here is vilified, it really is from the top down. It is, it is the family that developed the drug and the steps they took for the sake of lining their own pockets when they knew this was addictive, but also the way they were able to maneuver and manipulate and get the approval that would allow them to sell this in the way they did from the FDA. Um, since then, the FDA will tell you changes have been made, people have been fired, steps have been taken, this won't happen again. Of course, that will be for you to decide when you watch this in conclusion. It's six episodes, and it's on Hulu. This could be a plain a plain watch for me, I think. This is a good, like a good travel, yes, good binge watch. I, I would say so. Fascinating. Yeah.